Hello, and welcome to the fourth episode of my paint and pigment making series, and this time I'm making paint out of bamboo. Yes, it's possible. So let's get straight into it. To start, I have to make a dye out of the plant itself so that I can later turn it into a pigment. There's a bamboo plant in our garden, so I take a pair of pliers and try to cut off a piece. Obviously, that didn't work, so I went for a thinner branch higher up. I then took it inside, washed them, and then decided to separate the leaves from the stalk because I wanted to see if they created different colors. I'm going to start with the leaves, so I add some distilled water to a pot and then add my bamboo leaf. I bring everything to a boil and then leave it to simmer. There is no noticeable color change as of now. After 40 minutes, the leaves appear to be degrading and the water seems to have darkened. A tissue test does not really reveal much color in the dye, but I notice that it is a pale yellow. I prepare a bowl and sieve and pour the leaves and water through it. A very pale but pigmented golden yellow is left behind. I pour it into the jar and as you can see it's a warm golden yellow. I repeat this whole process again with the stalks. It seems that they have also left behind a very similar golden yellow. This leads me to believe that both stalks and leaves produce the same color. Though it does come off as more of an acidic and more pale yellow than the dye made from the leaves. Anyways, they're similar enough that I decide to mix them together. I am now going to turn this dye into a powder pigment. To do that, I will be using alum and washing soda. If you want to know more about this process, be sure to check out my Lake Pigments video. I add my alum directly to the bamboo because I'm lazy and bad at following directions. It's clumpy and not fun to mix. I then add my washing soda also straight into the solution and mix well. The solution foams and fizzes very significantly. It's actually quite a strong reaction. I leave it for a few hours to settle. You can see the separation between sediment, dye, and foam. After a few hours, most of the foam is gone, so I pour the solution through a coffee filter so as to be left with just the sediment. When the solution is done being filtered, I am left with this beige-ish yellow green. I open up the filter and place it on my plaster vat to spread and dry. There are some impurities in it, but that is from my alum and not the bamboo itself. I did not purchase the best kind of alum. My bad.
After it has dried, I peel the hardened paste into a coffee grinder and grind it well. It's made a significant quantity and looks very smooth and fine. I sift it through my DIY sieve and then place it on my glass slab. Although you can turn this pigment into any type of medium that you want, I'm going to make oil paint out of it using Walnut Alkid as a medium. pigment was really pleasant to mull and very fine and easy to blend. I may have added too much alkid, but that's fine. It has a consistency similar to resin or thick honey. I also like how transparent it is. Here's a close-up of the final result. Very syrupy and smooth. To test out this bamboo paint, I will make a few swatches with it on a prime piece of canvas and see what happens. For the first swatch, I'm painting the color as it is with no additives. It's very transparent and handles well. It's coming out a muddy green-yellow color, which I don't hate at all. It has hints of yellow ochre, but is not all the way there. For the second swatch, I'm painting the bamboo along with a commercial titanium white. I really like this color, it's neutral and calm. For the third swatch, I paint the color plus gray. Nothing special there, and for the third swatch, I'm painting the color along with black. The bamboo paint is very easily overrun by black, which is somewhat expected considering its transparency. For the fifth swatch, I make a glaze or wash out of the paint. It's really gorgeous. It's a soft neutral yellow that is quite unique and easy on the eye. I'm just really having a moment with this paint right now. Finally, for the last swatch, I'm mixing some of my leftover bamboo pigment with some clear acrylic gesso and adding it to my canvas. This will be the light fast test. As soon as it dries, I'm going to cover it up with a strip of black tape, which I will remove after 5 weeks to see if UV light will fade the pigment. I leave everything alone for 5 weeks, then do a quick evaluation. I'm basically testing 3 things. Color fastness, light fastness, and handling. For color fastness, I compare 3 images of the paint on week 1, 3, and 5, and see if there is a difference. There's a noticeable change in color between week 1 and 3, but I'm suspecting it's a defect with the picture itself and not the actual pigment. Even if its color did change, it still looks really nice. Taking that into account, I give it 3 points out of 5. For light fastness, I removed the tape and failed to see a color change. Therefore, it gets 5 points for that. Finally, for handling, which is the experience of making and using this paint, I give it 5 out of 5. With a total of 12 points, it's now become my second favorite pigment. It was relatively straightforward to make and a pleasure to mull and to paint with. Overall, a big success. I hope that you found this video interesting or useful. All links will be in the description below and new episodes out every Thursday. Thanks for watching!